Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create Share Inspire Podcast. I'm Kristen Amdahl, and we are here in La- we are here live in Southwest Florida at the beautiful beach, the Gulf of Mexico behind me. And we're watching the sunrise over the buildings and the trees in the east. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you're crafting this morning. Let me know if you have questions for me. And if you watch the recorded version, which I know most of you do, that's okay. Please also feel welcome to leave comments and ask me questions. Hi, Judy and Lisa. Thanks for joining live. Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Lisa. Lisa's always crafting. Me too. I'm always doing something with my hands. Hi, Beatrice. Hi, Petra and Naomi. Hi, Sylvia and Grace. Good morning, Grace. Hi, Joe. Hi, Gay. Hi, Lucy. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Edna and Beatrice and Melissa. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Brenda. The beach is beautiful. The colors are very saturated this morning. It is a beautiful place. Hi, Chris. So that's why I bumped the podcast a little bit later today. Now that season is here, we have so many more people in this uh, area and parking is just such a challenge at this time of year. So the street parking that I usually use before the parking structure opens is always busy. Uh, Good morning, Terry. And so the parking structure doesn't open till eight. So the only way to do morning podcasts this time of year until I'll start riding my bike again which is broken. Um, Hi, Ruth. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly, you like the cooking video. Wonderful. I'm so glad. So in order to be safe and guarantee parking, I have to show up here at eight o'clock when the parking structure opens. So having said all that, that's why we went a little bit late this morning, but I think better late and show up to the beach than not. So when weather permits, I think that's how I will try to incorporate the beach into the podcast right now. So, hope everybody had a nice weekend. I was super busy and including doing a second cooking live video. If you didn't get a chance to see it, it's episode uh, 002 for cooking live. I also created a logo for it, which I was super excited about. And um, so I'm going to make some t-shirts now to wear while we do the cooking show. So I'm super excited about that and going to make some bags. I put it up on my red bubble shop so that I could order t-shirts and hoodies for Marlin and bags to take to the grocery store so it'll be great promotion for the show and uh, I think you can see the logo on the video I'm not sure anyway I'll share it with you uh, later as well so I have something really exciting to show you this morning though I have my first ever branded crochet hook and tool kit available and it is available on my website right now first yes i'll post the link to the red bubble later i'll make a um, blog post about it so first i want to show you that the entire toolkit comes in this gorgeous mesh bag that also has my name on it right there and it has this tab on the side so you could add a carabiner to this you could easily attach this to if you wanted to attach it to the outside of a bag, the inside of a bag, your belt loop, anywhere. It's just nice for organization to have that tab on there. It has a great zipper. And when we open it up, I've got lots to show you inside. So inside the bag, we have a pair of super sharp crafting scissors that comes with its own protective cover. We have a tape measure comes to 60 inches. We have a giant set of locking stitch markers, which are great for knitters and crocheters. And they come in this beautiful array of rainbow colors. And we have a bent yarn needle. And You may not have seen one of these before. Some of you will have, and some of you won't have seen this before, but you're going to go crazy for this simple little tool I added to the toolkit. We've got a 
um, needle threader. It has two sides to it. So one's for thicker yarns and one's for thinner yarns. And are you ready for this? You hook your yarn or you put it inside your yarn needle. Then you hook your yarn in that little hook and whoop, you pull it right through. It is by far the easiest way to thread yarn onto a yarn needle. So whether you're using a thick yarn or a thin yarn, it doesn't matter. We have both options on the tool. It is absolutely fantastic. Anybody that needs to put on reading glasses to thread yarn through a needle is going to go to do is put it in the needle first, grab the yarn and pull it through. And I'll do a little demo of that in a minute, but we're not done going through everything in the bag yet. So save the best for last. I have an 11 piece, let me take this. I have an 11 piece set of inline crochet hooks with that are aluminum inline crochet hook with a bamboo handle. My name is burned onto the, my band is burned onto the bamboo, but the size of the crochet hook is embossed into the aluminum so the aluminum so the size will never ever go away it'll always be there and the handle is great for a couple of reasons anybody that has arthritis or issues with their hands will find that it is the larger the handle the less your hand has to you know cramp or you know bend a con ah, what's the word i'm trying to think you know squeeze around it and then also because of the nature of bamboo or wood it heats up with your body temperature so as it warms up it is more comfortable to your muscles and your joints and all that stuff too but they're in line and aluminum so they are super fast awesome comes in 11 sizes so we start with two millimeter two and a half millimeter three millimeter three and a half millimeter, four millimeter, four and a half millimeter, five millimeter, five and a half, six, six and a half, and eight millimeter. So we go all the way from two millimeter up to, where's the big one? Eight millimeter. So pretty much just about everything you could ever want as a crocheter for tool bag and all the tools inside is $19.99 and you can find it on my website right now. If you, uh, there's no photo there right now, but you know how I like to do that so that you guys get first uh, dibs on things. I think it's fun to leave the series on my website so that you guys get the first chance at it. So I'll go over one more time here, everything that's in here, and then we'll do a quick demo. So inside the branded mesh bag that has the great uh, loop over here, you could add your bag tag on here, the heart carabiner, you could add any sort of carabiner to attach this to anything. It uh, see through, so you can see what's in there and it has a zipper on top. Inside there we have uh, our locking, we have our locking stitch markers that come in a rainbow of colors, which is so awesome because sometimes we wanna mark different things for different reasons on a project and so having the different colors is wonderful for that uh, but there's plenty of I plenty of them in each color this is fantastic for knitters or crocheters by the way we have a pair of craft scissors that are super sharp and come with a protective cover on the top I love this I've had sharp scissors before that have damaged bags because they didn't have that cover on them very helpful we have a 60 inch tape measure. We have a bent tip yarn needle. And we have that amazing yarn threader or needle threader. So they come together in a little baggie. So we've got the needle and the threader. This threader is amazing. It has two sides to it, depending on what type of yarn you want to thread through a yarn needle. You could do something really tiny on this side and something really chunky on this side. You simply insert threader into any yarn needle, hook your yarn under that hook and pull it through. It's that easy. It's so simple, but it's genius. And I can't think of a better way to thread yarn onto a needle. I know I struggle with it. And if I struggle with it, I know lots of you do. And then we have our 11 piece crochet hook set. Really awesome for yourself 
to have everything in one spot, but it makes a great gift. And for $19.99, it's a great price point for a gift too. I think I've thought of every tool you could need, you know, within reason, not extremity stuff, but on an everyday basis, I think we've covered every tool in this kit. And then, so the crochet hooks are aluminum in line with the number of the hook embossed onto the metal. Kristen Amdahl brand is burned into the bamboo handle. They are in line. If that's the type you like, that's the type of crochet hook I like. And it has every size from two millimeter, two and a half, three millimeter, three and a half, four millimeter, four and a half, five millimeter, five and a half, six millimeter, six and a half, and eight millimeter, 11 crochet hooks. It's an amazing deal. I hope you all are as excited about it as I am. If on what I thought I'd do now is do a quick demo for you of threading the yarn into the needle and also crocheting. So I brought with me a little bit of uh, Biso Soulful yarn and Biso Toasty yarn. So I have a number two and a number one yarn. I didn't, I could have brought more and I didn't. So we'll, we could do another demo another time. But first I wanted to show you an awesome demo of threading the yarn onto the needle. I want to show you how quickly I can thread yarn onto a yarn needle. It's amazing. Normally, you got to sit there and squint and double it down or cut a blunt edge or look it. Or, I mean, there's all sorts of tricks that I have and I know you do too. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take this threader and I'm going to pop it into my yarn needle. <laughs> Assuming the wind doesn't get away. Oh, and then I'm going to hook the yarn tougher to do this without a table, but hook the yarn in there, voila, we're done. Done. How long did that take? I mean, seriously, when have you ever threaded yarn through a needle that quickly? That's crazy. All right, let's go thinner. Let's grab a piece of the Biso. Okay, I've got a little bit of a tangle here, so we'll grab the scissors real quick. Okay, so now we'll grab our thinner yarn. Okay, I'm gonna take my threader, definitely use the thinner side. I'll, it doesn't matter, you could use either side. Whichever side you, your size, side your yarn would fit through. If we're gonna, oh, why don't we double one of the yarns so I can show you a thicker one. So, all right, so I've inserted my threader into the yarn needle. Hook the yarn, done. When have you ever threaded fingering way yarn that, or, or thread a needle with fingering yarn that quickly, right? All right, let's try adding a couple of thicknesses. When's the last time you tried to thread a couple of yarns in a needle? That never goes really well, does it? That's always crazy. All right. All right, I've got two thicknesses of Be So Soulful number two sport weight yarn, one thickness of Be So Toasty fingering weight yarn, and uh, if you go, to, Susan, that's a great question. The size of the crochet hooks and letters is listed on my website. It goes from B to L, and if you follow the link in the video description, it takes you to the listing of the entire toolkit, and then it will list out everything that's there. Okay, so I'm going to use my thicker side of the uh, threader right now. I'm just going to insert it into my yarn needle. Now imagine trying to thread these three. I don't even have them, you know, lined up. They are all blend, so I'm going to now take all three, hook them inside the hook, and pull them through. Done. Took less than a second to do. Great question about the letters. And if I don't have the letters listed there yet, I will add them later today, but it is B through L. I'm pretty sure I put them on there last night though. Yeah, so if you just go to the listing, everything's listed there. Are there any other questions? Oh, I was gonna do a quick uh, crochet. Sure, you're welcome. Susan, they're listed on the, all the letters are listed next to the millimeters on the, uh, on the website listing. So if you just go to the link at the listing, it'll tell you everything there. 
unless you need me to go over one by one right now, but they're all listed there, so it'd be easier to retain the information if you have it in a handy spot like that. All right, any other questions? And then I'm gonna take some requests for a tutorial. I thought it'd be fun to let you guys pick which yarn I use and which hook size I use and what stitch I use. And we'll test out the new crochet hooks. Good morning, Cherie. Okay, so first choices, are we gonna do a demo? Could you please explain the name and size of your yarn? Um, of the ones I'm using here this morning, this is Be So Soulful number two sport weight yarn, and this is Be So Toasty number one fingering weight yarn. Or Susan, you mean do a separate podcast where I talk about all of them and explain all of them? Because I could certainly do that as well. Oh, hi! You're back! You. I'm great. How are you? You're so beautiful. Thank you. I love seeing your smile. How's it Thank going? You. Great. I just started a cooking podcast also, so I cook live with my teenage son oh, a couple God. nights a week. So if you want to check out my YouTube channel for that too. All right. I'm excited. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Always promoting. <laughs> Can't help it. That's what I do. Okay, so I didn't just stick around to listen to Susan's answer. Could anybody tell me? if she wanted me to uh, or if any of you want me to do a video or a podcast where i talk about the weights um talk about the weights and sizes of, of all of my yarns edna some beads have been listed already i listed the six millimeter fire polish beads in five or six colors over the weekend and i have the four millimeter crystal beads uh yes yeah, susan i explained which yarns i have here Yep, I did that one already. Okay, all right, so I'd like to do a demo for you with a crochet hook and a yarn. So first I would like to see who wants a, a request for Be So Soulful or Be So Toasty yarn. And then I'll be asking what size crochet hook and what stitch, so. Yes, the fire polish beads are gorgeous. I'm glad you like them, Melissa. I always pick stuff with an AB finish. Yeah, I've got a lot of yarns now, and uh, not everybody's probably tried all of them. Okay, first request is Toasty, so I will grab Toasty. Next, uh, so this is the number one fingering weight yarn. What size hook would somebody like to see? We can start anywhere from a B, two millimeter. Uh, we could go up to an H, five millimeter. What size yarn and name do you sell on your website? I sell a bunch, Susan, if you go to my the link to my website. All right, we've got a request for H. Five millimeter. If you go to my website, Susan, you can see all of them. First one was H. Okay, so now stitch. Should we do a little mini motif? Should we do a row of foundation ovals? Should we do some other type of stitch? I don't know what silver Susan Bates Silva Lume ingredient list is, but these are aluminum inline books. Cherie picked a boutique, so I'm just going with the first request that I get for everything. We could always do this again. I might even do a second round of this. Okay, so we'll start with tying a yarn to the crochet hook, and we will, let's see, we'll start with a chain five, chain, let's see, a mini Christmas motif. Yes, these are the new hooks, Ava. So we're gonna do, let's do one with that single crochet pico, cause it'll look like a little tiny mini um, uh, snowflake. So we did chain six, single crochet in the third chain from your hook. So that chain six counted as a double crochet and a chain three pico. Then we will double crochet in the ring and chain three pico, chain three, single crochet in the third chain from our hook. If you go to my blog, I have a also a video <clears throat> tutorial for this little motif. But we'll make one here to show you how nice and easy these crochet hooks work. They're very, I find them to be very fast, but I find that as a professional, my, my preferred tool set is aluminum inline crochet hooks. That's how I work the quickest, but that's me and that's what I like. If you are a crochet hobbyist, speed is not always necessarily 
the most important thing. So what I love about them may not be what you love about them, but one thing that you might love about them is the handle. It's a lot easier on your hands and your wrists and your fingers to have a bamboo handle that is bigger than the crochet hook as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll slip stitch to the top of the third, or to the third chain of the chain, so the beginning of the round to join. Where are those cute little scissors? Take the cover off and put the cover back on, so it's safe for poking me or my bag. I love having uh, scissors with a case on them. And there we have a little motif. Okay, so let's do a dowel with Be So Soulful yarn. This is number two sport weight yarn. So who would like to pick a crochet hook size for this one? We can do anything. We've got anything from a B two millimeter to an L eight millimeter. So who would like to pick a crochet hook size for doing another demo? This one we did with an H millimeter and a number one fingering weight yarn and it would be daintier and tighter if we'd have done with a smaller one but you can see you can still do it with that so 3.2 let's see i think i saw a k so that's six and a half millimeters i saw first sorry for the person who said three millimeter after that and here's six and a half millimeter all right and what would we like to see with this one we'd like to see a motif foundation ovals a stitch pattern waiting for the request. So the request was to do a foundation oval. Okay, so we'll do, we can do a chain. This is, because this is super loose, I'll do the double crochet one. So we'll chain three and double crochet. <coughs> Excuse me, in the third chain from our hook. There's one, chain three. crochet in the third chain from our hook. Chain, thank you, Lisa. Chain three, double crochet in the third chain from our hook. Chain, thank you for all the blessings, everybody. got foundation ovals. And then we can crochet into our foundation ovals now too. I'll do three double crochets in each one across like we're beginning like a granny stitch style stitch or like we're beginning rows of double crochet. Or in handful of uh, stitch pattern start with a row of double crochet to be honest with you. Is somebody asking what a moderator is? A moderator is somebody who has special privileges for being able to block people during the podcast. In case someone comes on and acts inappropriately, I, uh, because I'm not sitting at a computer, it's not convenient for me to be touching my screen or even, I can't even pay attention to all of the comments to come in. So my amazing moderators are people who volunteer their time to moderate the content of, of the live stream comments that come in. I think that's a, and help answer questions if there's something that gets asked that they can help with. They have my permission to answer questions if, I don't know, not have my permission, but have my blessing to share information that they think I would answer. Did I miss anything? I think that's so. Here we go. We've got double crochets in the foundation ovals. Yes, thanks to the moderators. 
And we can work double crochets into the double crochets now. And you can see I'm not getting, I'm not getting caught up on the hook at all. It's moving smoothly and quickly. And notice how I don't even have to hold the hook very tightly because the handle is so much bigger than the hook. So from what I've read in the research is that the larger handles are much easier on people that have pain in their hands and wrists from arthritis and other carpal tunnel and things like that. I don't have any of those conditions. So um, uh, yeah, that's what the wrench by the name means. It means that they're a moderator. It means they have special privileges. They've been, uh, they just have, you know, different um, permissions for the channel. Lucy, your skin will get better the more you practice. It's simple as that. It's just about the time you put in. That's it. That's the only thing that makes, look at that. Now we've got rows of double crochet. That could turn into a scarf or any number of things. If I were making a scarf with this, I would probably work half of my scarf in this direction and then I'd come back and work the other half of the scarf through the opposite end of those foundation ovals. So we just have that tiny line of foundation ovals, which would end up being mostly invisible in the center of the scarf. And then you could do the same exact treatment on each of the edges of the scarf so that you, good morning, so that you could create a, a symmetrical edge on both. You could add our twisted fringe on here. You could do any type of an edging. There's so many different ways you could dress up a double crochet scarf with so many different things on the end. Yes, Lucy, just spend a little more time uh, crocheting, even if it's just 20 minutes a day. Even if you don't have time for more than just a few minutes a day, uh, I am sure that if you just spend a little more time every day, you would definitely get more experience, get more confidence, and eventually gain more speed as well. Does anybody have any other questions for me? Thanks, Pamela, for ordering the hook and toolkit. I'm so glad. I will be, well, we won't be shipping today. So where on my site is this kit? Well, it is on the shop in the accessories tab, or if you look in the video description below, it is the very first link in the video description this morning. Is anybody else having trouble finding the link? It should be right at the very top. If you scroll down to the video description, it should be the very top. Cherie started another summer loving best. Wonderful. Oh, sweet Melissa just posted a link to the toolkit right in the comments right now. So I think you can just click right on that as well. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. You're welcome, Lisa. Thank you for ordering it. So today is a bank holiday because it is Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans out there. Ship first thing tomorrow morning. So thank you for all your orders. And they will be shipped as soon as I can possibly begin shipping again. Kimberly's enjoying the sun. Wonderful. Ooh, yes, I love gray flannel and be so toasty, Cherie. That's gonna be beautiful. Oh, so a new a new crochet video was launched last night as well. I did do the video tutorial for the beaded scrunchie. So if you want to make the beaded scrunchie and the pattern needed some supplement for you, you can watch that video. It's the previous video to this one that's on my uh, YouTube channel. And the video just before that is my most recent cooking live video with Marlon. We made roasted salmon and Caesar salad this weekend. So if you want to check that out, it was super fun and Marlon was such a great sport about it. I can't believe that I've got him enjoying this with me right now. I'm just going to enjoy it for as long as it lasts. Uh, love having him hang out with me and talk with all of you and talk with me. And I don't know, I'm sure it's because food's involved, but he's super excited. And uh, I feel like everyone's been enjoying that. So we will continue those videos. We'll do at least one more this week. I'm shooting for, I'm, my goal is to do at least two a week. So we did one yesterday, we'll probably do another one in the next couple of days. And I'll let you know when it's going to be. 
it's such a great thing for me to share with him, Melissa. I'm loving every minute of the time I'm spending with him. And I'll get to keep these videos then to remember that time spent together. Uh, yes, Kimberly, and it teaches him how to cook as well. I've been teaching him how to cook for years, but having him sitting there with me is really being uh, a really a great teaching tool for him too. Uh, Ava, yes, I will be making more colors and be so toasty and be so cozy, but with any hand-dyed yarn, it won't be exactly the same. So uh, whatever is available now is what will be all completely matching. But yes, I will be making more yarn. We'll be dyeing more yarn. But I can't guarantee anything will match. Uh, that's not the way it works with hand dyed yarn, unfortunately. Well, fortunately and unfortunately. It's kind of fun to have limited edition colors too, isn't it? Pamela, you're still close with your youngest son and he's 26. Oh, wonderful. That makes me feel very hopeful with my 17 year old. I hope we're always close. Okay, well, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, the sound of the waves, the beautiful colors at the beach this morning, chatting with me and everyone else, and getting to play with the brand new toolkit and crochet hook set that is in my brand, and you can find it on my website. The entire kit is $19.99, and it is available now. There's no photo there, but You've seen everything that's inside, and I'll be posting photos later today. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.